Action. Why do they do no damage? <laughs> we broke the game. Oh man. Yo guys, what's going on? Rounded Tic Tac back at it again, and today we're covering the Deatomizer 9. Thousand. In my opinion, the absolute best rocket launcher in the entire game. It does some wonky things that no other rocket launcher does. Uh, and in regular gameplay, regular missions, all the way up to 174 four mans, in my humble opinion, this is the absolute best rocket launcher in the game. It is actually more like a gun. It has crazy high durability, no reload if you play carefully, uh, 43 base uses, and it's just absolutely devastating. It does a couple of things that are unique to it alone and also has a weird stumble effect. So we're going to get into this rocket launcher right now. I was very, very happy when I uh, tested it yesterday. Absolutely love the thing. We brought it all the way to high-end endurance runs. It performed amazingly and... It it, like I said, in my opinion, it is the best rocket launcher in the game. So a quick perk it or pass it, 100% perk it, but let's get into the video. So let's take a look at exactly how you want to roll this thing. This is how I have mine. Uh, I didn't change much. It's rolled pretty well from the beginning. Uh, the only thing I did change was I made it double crit damage uh, and I put durability here instead of heat capacity. I believe that's what comes on it. Now the reason I did that is because it doesn't have a reload animation like most other rocket launchers. Most rocket launchers you shoot one and have to reload so you're looking for shorter reload times. This does not have that same kind of idea. It's like the Gammatron or the Plasmatron 9000 where after enough bullets it overheats and it has to cool off. I did not find it necessary to have that in this weapon. With a build like this, double crit damage, one crit chance and durability, you can shoot four rockets um, before the gun actually overheats. And that's plenty. Each one with this build hits for a re ridiculous amount of damage something between 350,000 to 750,000 per rocket not including this and not including the projectiles it does and not including the character we're going to show it on uh, it's a ridiculous amount of damage it has a great stun mechanic to it it's it's literally it's nuts it's absolutely not. So you do not need to roll the heat capacity. Also, with durability, it gives you 43 shots, which is one of the best durability rocket launchers in the game, uh, considering how much damage it does. Just for a quick example, the snowball launcher, fully perked up, only hits for like 30,000, 50,000, maybe. This is just off the top of my head. Like I said, this hits for anywhere between 350 and 700,000. So this is how I would roll it up. Let's take a look at some stuff. This was the build I was using, uh, and I think this is probably the best build for this. In particular for a couple of reasons. I don't want to tell you to use this constructor because you're playing a character based on one thing. You can only really use and get benefit from your team perk or your commander perk if you're playing with solely this rocket launcher. That's not a good idea. Normally, I hate doing rocket launcher videos because they're one and done. Of course, you know what to play. It's easy, simple, blah, 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 blah. You don't need to take care of it. Um, but this one is unique enough to where it feels more like a weapon and a gun, not necessarily a rocket launcher. So instead, we're going to play probably the best late game team perk there is, and that is Blast from the Past. This time, we're going to be playing Saurian Might. The reason is because it takes next range weapon hit. It's not necessarily has to be an assault rifle, a sniper. It could be any ranged weapon and you're going to get in a full party like 144,000 extra damage on top of your um, base damage so it ends up being a ridiculous amount of damage plus it doesn't lock you into just assault rifles just snipers you can use any weapon and still get the benefit from it Rex I really wish he had uh, ground pound but it is what it is Sorry and Hyde uh, is just these two are just for the the perks now here's where I was just experimenting I can't say this is a hundred percent necessary for the rocket launcher itself you're gonna bring faster explosions not necessary but it's pretty good this, since you have 43 shots and you do not have a reload, this technically should work. Startup. It should work. 
I think it does. It's really hard to tell because there's a lot of numbers that come up at the same time when you shoot this thing. It's really tough to see what's exactly hitting for what. It, but I mean, it does a ridiculous amount of damage. So I tried this. And then Plasma Arc as well. Energy damage has a 20% chance to zap nearby targets for 58% of the damage dealt. Since you're hitting so hard, what is 700? What is whatever 58% percent of 750,000 is that's a ridiculous amount of damage this is almost worth bringing on almost any bill that you plan on hitting very very hard with either it might be a, a sword or anything that's energy damage it's crazy so this is what I experimented with this is all the footage you're going to see is this build in particular like I said you can run any weapon on him it doesn't really matter uh, but the rocket launcher works incredibly well Oh, okay. All right, here we go. First shot. We're gonna get a quick reload. Oh, oh, that was pretty cool. Yo, yo, what? That was my legit, real first time reaction on stream. I had actually kind of blew my mind. It looks really cool. It has this crazy explosion effect to it. And the damage we did in that instance was absolutely crazy. I haven't been able to notice a replication of that damage, but I have an idea of why it did so much. This is a 144 man level 174 i believe they are during the actual mission i was trying it on ramirez but it's absolutely useless on her don't do it uh, we ended up playing it on rex mainly one of the reasons this rocket launcher is so good is because of its range of 768 or so and what that actually means it's three quarters of a tile technically uh explosion radius but it's much much bigger than that it's actually probably closer to three tiles around the target, which is absolutely insane. Just for an example, a Santa's Little Helper only hits a quarter of a tile with explosion radius. You can see right here me absolutely decimating this camp. This is probably the absolute best encampment weapon in the entire game now. It beats the Noble Launcher, it beats the Cannonade, anything you could possibly think of, this weapon does great. The only downside to it is single target damage, but even then, it's not that bad. So what makes this rocket launcher different than the rest? Because it is unique, it is different, we don't have anything in the game that acts like this currently um it does a couple of things that are odd and that are probably impossible to figure out but we're gonna give it our best shot it shoots a energy ball plasma ball whatever you want to call it that actually hits the target once that hits the target it does two things if it kills the target it expands a ring of damage if it doesn't kill the target or even if it does it makes these projectiles pop out that is very similar to the seven projectile perk on the space weapons that we've been getting it's very very similar however they hit like a truck so each one of these projectiles can hit one target two targets i guess if they're standing on top of each other but that's not really why this weapon does so much damage it's neither of those things in fact what is probably going on and why i was able to basically one shot that 140 smasher with a rocket launcher is because i think when that projectile happens if it's a direct hit what ends up happening is the explosion perk happens almost like inside the target, inside the target itself, and therefore explodes and all seven of those projectiles or 10 of them, whatever it is, hit the target that you shot directly. Then the damage proceeds to come out of him and it still hits at everybody in that ring. On top of that, the ring explodes as well, dealing a decent amount of damage too, depending on what character you're playing. Now, one of the main drawbacks of the rocket launcher itself is its range. It only has a range of four tiles and then it explodes regardless if it hits anything or not, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not the greatest. The interesting thing about that is that it is the absolute best, at least throughout all the testing we've done and all of the people who've done it, the absolute best ufo killer in the entire game there's not many heroes in the game that can take on a ufo just by himself and take it down in four shots three shots even but this rocket launcher can 
these couple of clips you're seeing is just me shooting it I'm the only one you have to build up to it but you can see how much damage it does you can see those multiple hits that I was talking about why the damage is so high because of that explosion perk that happens that hits the target multiple times it's almost like the bowler where it can hit the same target multiple times that is why the damage is so high this clip right here was three shots from a rocket launcher without war cry just myself and we killed it in time it's really really strong in this instance and worth building up to take out the ufo if you're an endurance junkie like me in my humble opinion, this is the absolute best rocket launcher in the game. It only has two downsides. One is the four tile range, and the second one is the impact. Now, there are a couple of different forms of impact in the game. There's stun, there's push, there's stagger. This one has a stagger mechanic to it. The only time this rocket launcher falls off is level 330 smashers in endurance. That is when you're going to want to switch to something like the Santa's Little Helper that has like a blowback kind of impact to it where it launches everything around them, including smashers off of cliffs, two tiles away, behind you, in front of you, to the left, to the right, doesn't matter. Just it does knock them much farther away than this does. This impact isn't bad as you can see multiple times me staggering the target but a stagger isn't something you really want on wave 30 in twine peaks endurance you're trying to get as much crowd control as you want but besides that one instance this is the best rocket launcher in the game. The damage is absurd. I'm not even going to attempt to figure out the damage numbers because as you can see in the footage, it's insane how many numbers come up. Try to figure out what they are. They're all the same color. It's not possible. But besides that one instance of wave 30 in endurance in Twine Peaks, this is my go-to rocket launcher. Also, on top of that, the durability is out of control at 43 shots. Like I said, it feels more like a gun than it does a rocket launcher. It's a fantastic weapon. Weapon, make sure to pick it up and that's it guys it has a couple of negatives but mostly positives in my humble opinion it is the absolute best rocket launcher in the entire game so make sure to perk it up grab it from the store use it tell me what you think down in the comments below if you guys are new to the channel I post weapon breakdowns and trap tunnel guides all the time throughout the week think about subscribing come join the pack if you're watching this video right now as it just came out, thank you so much for the notification squad. We are live at twitch.tv slash rounded tic tac right now. Come, come over. We're live right this second. Come hang out. I'll be giving these away if you want to try them without perking them up yourself. So feel free to stop over and maybe win some. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Tic tac out.